It's a Fox News alert. One of the most extraordinary moments in the history of social media is unfolding right now as we speak. And it began when Elon Musk took control of Twitter. When he bought the company, he promised to reveal its corruption, the extent to which Twitter had engaged in politically motivated censorship, including the unlawful, the illegal censorship of American citizens at the direction of the U.S. government. Well, tonight, less than an hour ago, Musk began to make good on that promise. Twitter shared a trove of internal documents with Matt Taibbi of Substack. Those documents are coming out again as we speak. And what they prove so far is very serious. Those documents show a systemic violation of the First Amendment, the largest example of that in modern history. These documents show that, among other things, political officials in the Democratic National Committee were directing censorship at Twitter ahead of the 2020 election. One Twitter official wrote on October 24th, 2020, that he had received, quote, an additional report from the DNC. So the DNC was telling Twitter what to pull off the site, and Twitter was complying. Next morning, to prove it, a Twitter official confirmed the post had been deleted. I grabbed the first one, that Twitter employee wrote. Twitter was also following instructions directly from the Biden campaign in the final days of the presidential campaign. One of the documents proves that officials on the Biden team routinely directed Twitter to remove posts that reflected poorly on Joe Biden. Quote, more to review from the Biden team, read one internal email from a Twitter employee just days before the 2020 election. That email included a list of several Twitter accounts that had criticized Joe Biden. The reply, quote, handled. We just checked. Now, those accounts remain suspended today. So Twitter was permanently censoring users at the request of the DNC and the Biden campaign. That is new. Many suspected it. Now it has been absolutely confirmed by internal documents. And, of course, the New York Post Twitter account was banned. Why? Because they had a story that might have changed the outcome of the 2020 election, and Twitter knew that perfectly well. They had accurate information about Hunter Biden's laptop. The Post reporting directly implicated Joe Biden and the Biden family in an ongoing scheme to sell influence, to leverage Biden's job as a government official, to sell the prestige and the power of the U.S. government to China and Ukraine. That scheme, that ongoing scheme that unfolded over years, made the Biden family millions of dollars. Ten percent of that money was reserved, as you know, for the big guy, meaning Joe Biden. So that was information that might have changed the outcome of the election. And that is precisely why Twitter prevented its users from reading it.